Experts from Inverma, Coralina, National Natural Parks, Conservation International, and Corales de Paz were in charge of the first rescue brigades to coral colonies after the passage of Hurricanes Eta and Iota. 734 corals have been rescued in the first two days in Old Providence. The brigade seeks to advance the work plan developed by the entities that are part of the National Environmental System, SINA. Following the indications of the protocol of immediate response for damages to the reef after the hurricane, we continue today offering first aid to different sites that were affected by the passage of Hurricane Iota. The actions are to relocate, fix and secure fragments and colonies that have been affected overturned. We hope with this to give a new opportunity to the colonies and thus begin the process of natural recovery of the reef. The marine biologist Violeta Posada indicated that with the process of coral conservation and restoration, he also seeks to preserve the territory of the rice and ethnic community. For the Old Providence National Natural Park, the coral areas were one of its objects of conservation. This area represents an important part of the ecosystem and is culturally valuable for the Rizal ethnic people. Currently, we are going to complement the restoration strategies that have been advanced with the first aid that we are providing with the other institutions. Within the framework of the Rescue Brigade Coral Garden, actions will also be carried out, where the relics that have been left behind will be used in transplanting processes and the recovery of degraded areas. The brigade is part of the activities established in Operator and Black Craft, led by the Minister of Environment and Sustainable Development, Carlos Correa, which brings together the actions planned by the National Environmental System to restore and rescue the ecosystems of the archipelago affected by the hurricane a month ago.